Hi guys, how are you? It is June 13th and I'm wearing fleece. It's like 50 degrees out, it's so cold today. I have to tell you that my summer is going so much better than last summer. I learned a lot, <laughs> a lot, unfortunately. But yeah, so last summer, check out my blog, simplebusinesssimplelife.com on, on the three ways I save 33% on my summer childcare. And here's the mistakes that I made last summer. Like this past school year, my daughter's in first grade. Last year she was in kindergarten. It was all day. I didn't need before and after school care, so I was so excited to be saving all that money every month to not send her to daycare, right? So then summer comes along and I f you forget that she doesn't have a spot in daycare anymore. So, I'm like, all right, I don't need daycare. I'm gonna save the money. I'm going to, she could stay home every day. That was my mistake number one, was the boredom, okay? She was so bored. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll put her in a couple of activities. That'll work. So I signed her up for swimming and gymnastics. So I'm paying like $150 a month. They're kind of in the middle of the day. So someone's got a driver there, which is kind of inconvenient because I'm working and I really can't leave my work. So it, that was a pain in the ass, okay. But the thing I did not take into consideration with those activities, because I thought they would be good social activities and they were not because it's an hour long class of instruction. There's like no socializing. So she would be all pissed off when we're leaving because she didn't get to talk to her friend and I have to go back to work and it was a disaster. Like the swimming was that way and so is the gymnastics. But I'm already committed to the end of the summer. So it's like $150 a month for these things. They're in the middle of the day. She's not happy. I'm not happy. Ugh. Okay. So then like, uh, I'm gonna call her daycare, because when I tried in June, they had no openings. They had nothing when I was, like even a day a week, something for her to go play, they had nothing. So I think it was like the first week of July when I um, got a hold of the ladies over there and they it told me they had, they could take her two days a week, I think? Or was it three days a week? It was three days a week. So that was like $100 a week for her to go there. You know, so they're, now I'm up to like $550 a month for childcare. That's, or I'm sorry, not 500, yeah, $550 a month for childcare. That's not full time. And I already paid for her to be in gymnastics and swimming. So on the days when she has those activities, I go to the daycare get her dressed in her swimsuit, take her to swimming, get her dressed in her leotard, take her to gymnastics. Then I bring her back there because if she's home, she's gonna be bored. Then she cries because she doesn't want me to leave and she doesn't wanna go with me either. I don't know why she's crying, I think she's drama mama. So last summer was a disaster. It was terrible. Then she was in cheer, which that was another, I mean that was $225 for the whole season, so that wasn't so bad. But that was on uh, Tuesdays and Thursday nights and then she had games on Saturdays and Sundays. The whole summer schedule was so chaotic, so messed up. It cost me more money than I thought. I was driving around miserable every day. It was just terrible. Um, and I really did not know all of the different things that were available to me. Because she's my only child, she's my first child. I mean, she went from the daycare to public school, I had no idea about all of these camp alternatives out there. And they have been a blessing because she was really upset about the daycare because she, in the older classroom, it's six to 12. So you have kind of like a weird age range in there and there's only about 15 of them. And she felt like she was a baby because she's there with kids in diapers. And I mean, I kind of get it, but I don't see why it's such a big deal, but whatever. So this summer, I talked to some of the other moms who have multiple children who work and just brought up all these camps, like the Girl Scout camp, the YMCA camp, the Park District camp, and exploring all of those options. I mean, she is going to camp now five days a week. It's costing me like a little over $100 a week. She's going five days. 
every Thursday there's a field trip and Monday through Wednesday the swimming lesson is included and I only have to drive her to one location and pick her up from one location. It was great, you know, like I saved so much money because it was cheaper than the daycare and then I signed up early because it's, you know, it's a seasonal thing. So this, they want to know how many kids they're going to have. And the earlier you sign up, you get a discounted rate. If you pay in full, you got a discounted rate. You have 10 weeks of childcare for right around $1,300. That includes swimming lessons and field trips. They are doing fun things. I mean, these are places that if I was to take her with the family, it'd be like 20 to $30 a person. So it is so awesome. Check out my blog, simplebusinesssimplelife.com and how I saved 33% on childcare this summer. I'm gonna drive Peyton to camp. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon, bye-bye.